I remember one time years ago, I was over a rabbi's house in Simchas Torah, and there was a woman at the table who was sitting for a few minutes, and then after a few minutes, she got up and she just left. And it was weird. She just got up and walked right out. And the rabbi gave us like a look like, don't say anything. He said, this woman needs a lot, a lot of help. This was 2001. Simchas Torah 2001 came a month after September 11th, 2001, remember? Her husband was working in one of the towers during 9-11. If you remember the story of 9-11, the first plane hit, the second plane hit lower, and there were maybe dozens of people that were at their desks at work. Her husband was one of them. That Tuesday morning, she got into a fight with her husband. He left for work, and she left for carpool. While she was out doing carpool rounds of all the kids, he's sitting at his desk and a 747 hits 15 floors below him. 20 seconds left of life, what do you do? He called his wife and he picked up the phone. He said, honey, I'm the luckiest man in the world that I was worthy of living with you for as long as I did. Whatever I've done in my life to not make you happy, I regret it now. You're the greatest thing that God gave me. Just turn on the TV and know I'll love you forever. She walks into the house, throws the keys, still upset from the morning. She starts doing dishes and clicks on her favorite morning television show, but instead every show is being blocked by coverage of 9-11. And as she looks down in the corner of her eye, what she sees is a blinking red light on her phone. And she plays the message of her husband as she watches her husband's building crash to the ground. 20 seconds left of life, what do you do? Most people, they pick up the phone and call. Do you know why? Because that's what they always wanted to do. They always wanted to tell their wives how much they love them, but they couldn't in life. They always wanted to tell their parents how much they mean to them. Every kid wants to tell their mom, thank you for raising me, but they can't. What in the world are we waiting for? What in the world are all of us waiting for to say the things to the people around us that we actually want to say? Why do we walk around with mediocre relationships when all it takes is one call and we can blow up everyone around us? Why are there people still fighting with people that they're related to? Why are there wives that don't know if their husbands really love them? Why are there kids and parents that walk around with the stick? Why do we do it? You know why? Because we believe in things, but we can't go all in. Because going all in means one thing, sacrificing me. I can't protect me. It makes me uncomfortable. I don't want to say it. I can't say it. Me, me, me. And when we live a life where me gets in the way, I can't pick up a phone. I can't go the extra step. Sacrifice for what you believe in. All in.